everyone, we're Lindsay and David from Everyday Disney Magic. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing a product that we received for free from Moose Toys, which is associated with Disney. They're called Disney Dorables. And we actually reviewed this product previously, and we will put that review in the description below if you're interested in seeing that. But this product review is on a different product with that company, Disney Dorables, and we're really excited to review it. This is our honest opinion of the product, and this is an advertisement for Moose Toys Disney. With so, our honest opinions, though. Yeah. So let's get to it. So one of the products that we received from Moose Toys was a Disney Dorables Mega Stack playset. And it comes with these three different play sets. You have Mad Hatter's Tea Shop, Belle's Bookshop, which I'm super excited about because as most of you know, I love Belle. So when I saw Belle, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Belle. She got very excited. <laughs> yes, they did. And then Elsa's Ice Rink. So let's take a look at all of them and see what's in them. And behind every door is a surprise. Yeah. So we're excited to see what the surprises are. Yep. Let's open it up. So when you take it out of the box, this is how it looks. There's a bunch of wiring on it, so it's securely put in place. So we'll take all the wiring off and check out each individual play set. Yeah, I definitely recommend using your handy dandy scissors. For yes. These. <laughs> this is the Mad Tea Party set. And this is how it looks put together. Where's the Mad Hatter? I don't know. Where is he? Knock, knock, knock. Surprise! There he <laughs> there is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, we put him right there. Right there. <laughs> What's in door number two? I don't know. Let's check it out. What did we put Sorry. there? Don't get too excited. <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> so. so you can see this bridge goes to nowhere. Yeah. Uh, that connects to when you attach them, which we'll do shortly. Mm-hmm. Yep. But this is the Mad Tea Party. This is definitely my favorite one of the three. This is Belle's Bookshop, and it's only because I love Belle, so I love this one, so I'm biased on this one. And let's see what's behind the doors. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's Belle! <laughs> let's go upstairs. Yep, knock, knock, knock. It's the Enchanted Rose! So that's pretty neat. I do like this one. This one's really cute. And the other one was actually the Mad Hatter's Tea Shop. So, yay! And this playset is Elsa's Ice Rink. Let's see who's in that door. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, it's Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. That's a nice surprise. Yeah, that's cool. Let's open that door, though. And there's her ice rink. And she's kind of hanging out right there, if you could see. Sorry, let me close this for you. There we go. There we go. And there's a door right here. Mm -hmm. And it actually comes out. And yes. It's like a slide. And it creates a little slide. So Elsa can go down the slide. Very cool. And David just put them all together. And this is how it looks all put together. It can actually go this way or go up, so you can stack them in different ways. But I kind of like this way. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Elsa's skating on her ice rink. You have a chair in there. <laughs> Got the Mad surprise. Hatter here. Oh, this one's cool. We have the enchanted rose right here, which is really neat. I love that. And then Belle's up there. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, if you look at the back, that's where you see, you could put wherever you see like little uh, spots here, that's where the character could go. Mm -hmm. So There's like could, a little point that comes up and yeah, that's where the character can be placed. You could put them behind these doors and that would be the surprise. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. And there it is. All put together. 
It is pretty neat. When it's all put together, it's pretty neat. At first, we did have some trouble figuring out like how to put it together. You definitely need to put it together like on a flat surface because we were trying to put it together on these chairs and that just didn't work. <laughs> they were like all the pieces were falling. So it's best to put it together on a flat surface so all the pieces don't fall because they are small pieces. Wanna watch Elsa go down the slide? <laughs> Careful. Did she get stuck? Oh! What? <laughs> she just Elsa. Fell. <laughs> yeah, but it is pretty neat. It's pretty cool and like you can create different stories. I could see how, you know, you could like I don't know, maybe Belle is friends with the Mad Hatter, and the Mad Hatter's friends with Elsa, and maybe they're the having Mad all a party. Maybe the Mad you Hatter know? wants to go down the slide. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Catch him. Gotta catch him, though. Yay, you caught him! <laughs> so he didn't fall. <laughs> yeah. There's so. a lot of little pieces to this, so yes. it's recommended five and up. Yeah. So I, I can definitely see how it's recommended for five and up because there are very small pieces, so you never want to give that to a child because they could, you know, put it in their mouth or something it's like that. It's a shopping that. hazard. But yeah, but it is pretty neat. And I could definitely see, ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think David's Mad playing with it so much that <laughs> the pieces are falling. The Mad Hatter wanted to use his ice skills as well. <laughs> yeah. It's best to play with this on a flat surface <laughs> because if you don't play with it on a flat surface, the pieces will fall and then you can't pick them up so easily because we're sitting on chairs right now we do not have a desk in front of us so all the characters uh left the building yeah <laughs> but it's fun it's fun to play with and you could create different stories and i don't know it seems it seems pretty cool maybe we'll try to stack it the other way and see how it looks that way and david did it we stacked them up and now we have a tower, <laughs> which is really neat too. I actually like this setup too. This is really cool. You have Elsa down here. Who do we have there? Let's see who we got in this door. No one! <laughs> door number three. No one? <laughs> door number four in Belle's place. Oh, Mad Hatter's joining Belle today, I guess. I guess they're friends with each other. That's <laughs> what you get for living on top of each other. <laughs> and then the Enchanted Rose and Belle. So it's pretty neat. You can have a lot of fun with it. You can stack it in different ways. You can see what you can create. So I could see this being a lot of fun for kids to do. It's kind of like, David, you said it's kind of sort of like a simplified Lego set. A little bit. Because, I mean, there's less pieces to put together, obviously, but you can stack it in different ways and create different things. So that's pretty neat. We also received four Disney Dorables mini play sets. And these are them. So we're going to show you each of them. And also, in the back, they came with a mystery one. And we love mysteries. I absolutely love unboxing things. So I'm super excited about the mystery pack. So let's get to it. Here's the Mickey Mouse Disney Dorables play set. It's a mini play set. And you have Mickey Mouse. You have, I think this is a light post. And then, I'm not sure what this is supposed Steam. to be. Steam coming out. Kind of reminds me of uh, Toontown. Oh yeah, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see what we have behind this door. Unbox it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love unboxing. So inside, it came with this, which is a mystery bag, and then this little stand that it goes on, and this little tiny piece. And that right there. So we'll see what this is all about. Let's see what it is. Oh! <laughs> it's Sven! That's so cute. That's interesting because it's the Mickey Mouse one, but I don't know. Does it come I'm sure with they're all it? random. I'm not sure. They're probably all random, but that's really cool. We got a little Sven. And there's Sven. 
Very cute. I love their little eyes, how they sparkle. They're so cute. And that's how he looks on his stand. I do like the little stand that it comes with because it makes it very easy for them to stand up so they don't fall down. The next Disney Dorables mini playset that we got was one theme to Zootopia. And there it is. And let's see what's in the mystery figurine. The mystery Disney Dorable. And who's it going to be? I don't know. Judy Hopps. Done. <laughs> And there he is, Maximus. His apple, he loves his apples always, so he definitely needs his apple. <laughs> He's so cute. That's a cool one. And it's actually really cool because we actually got a Disney Dorables mini playset that is Tangled theme, so this is perfect. And here is the Tangled themed mini playset. I really love this one. I love how it has the hair coming out and actually this detaches. So you could just take this out and you can put it back in like that. And then I put Rapunzel on the top, but you can take her off and put her wherever you would like. And let's see what we got in this mystery Disney Dorable. I do love this one. This one's really cute. Let's see what it is. It is, oh, it's the sloth. Oh, he's gonna go so slow. Can you tell us a joke? Um, I don't think we need a joke right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and here he is, Flash. He's a slow speaker, but a fast driver. <laughs> guess he's not working in GMB today. No, I guess not. <laughs> That's really cool. I like this one. Awesome. And the last one we got was an Alice in Wonderland themed Disney Dorable mini playset. So let's check this one out. And then we also got the mystery. But this comes, this detaches too, and then it can be put on. Pretty cool. And this detaches as well. Let's see what we got. What we got? Is that Pluto? That's so cool. Pluto. <laughs> That's really awesome. It looks like a baby Pluto. Yeah. I love how he looks. He's so cute. Love this one. Where's Mickey? I found you have to return to Mickey. <laughs> well, we have Mickey. That is true. Yeah. Of course, Mickey. We have Mickey's mini playset. We turned them. Yay! Up. They're together again. I'll save the day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and these are the four that we got, and they actually stack. So that's really cool that you can stack them and you can do different things with them, and you can put the characters in wherever you would like to put them. There's a little space, and you can put any character you want. Like if you got. Sven, you can put Sven in Rapunzel's home. Because maybe Sven wants to be in Rapunzel's home. Does he belong there? <laughs> I don't know. There he is. <laughs> so it is really neat. Very cool. So those were all the products that we were sent. And again, these were sent for free by Moose Toys, which is associated with Disney. And we want to say thank you to Moose Toys for sending us mm -hmm. these free products. It was really fun to unbox them and see what we got. And personally, I enjoyed best unboxing the mystery ones. I just love mystery unboxings and seeing what I'm going to get. So that's my personal favorite. How about you? I like the slide. Uh, also slide. <laughs> also slide. <laughs> yeah. <fun. laughs> yeah, that was actually fun. Yeah, I could see how it could be really fun for kids to stack up the different play sets and see what they can create and they, they can create different stories yeah, and different scenarios. Make sure they're old enough because there are yes. tiny, tiny pieces mm -hmm. in it. So Yeah, there are very tiny pieces. It's recommended them. five and up. Mm -hmm. And also I recommend that if you purchase the product to 
do it like on a table or something like that so the pieces don't get lost. Overall, I really enjoyed it. And like I said, my favorite was the little um, mystery unboxings because I love those. Yeah, and they're so cute. I love the little googly eyes. Aren't they so cute? Yes. <laughs> and oh, my favorite also was um, Belle's Bookshop. That was awesome. I couldn't believe we got Belle. That was so cool. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> we got Pluto. Yeah, oh yeah, it was cool no too. Donald. That was cool because we got Pluto and Mickey. So that was awesome. But thank you so much again for sending us these free products. Much and, appreciated. Yes, and this was our honest opinion. And if you guys purchase these products, let us know what you guys thought of them in yeah. the comments below. You can get it from Amazon, uh, Walmart, or Target. Yep. Mm -hmm. And actually, we've seen them at Target before. Yes, we and we've actually purchased some of the mystery figurines because we do like the mystery ones. We like unboxing them. But... If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and comment below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much, and remember, make every day magical.